morning students how are you all i hope you all are well so in the last session we have studied about the number sense i hope you have thoroughly gone through the video and now you know the different concepts of numbers such as reading writing and forming and finding the place value and face value now today what we are going to do we are going to study about the different types of numbers yes number also has different categories we just look into them one by one so that the concept will be clear to you okay so are you ready let's have a look so the first thing that comes into mind is that the definition of numbers so what are numbers as we have studied already that numbers are the standard symbols or numerals that represents quantity so 1 2,3,4,5,6,7,8,9 all are considered as numbers. So, we have studied about this definition earlier in the last session. Now, our today's topic is what are the different types of numbers. So, if we talk about the types of numbers, the numbers can be categorized as counting or natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers and real number we will just move into them one by one so let's move on to our first category the first category of the number is the natural numbers so what are natural numbers natural numbers are the number that starts from one so it includes one two three four five and so on means the general counting that we use in mathematics are considered as the natural number however one thing that you keep in mind is that zero is not included in this group moreover no negative numbers are considered as natural number so natural number are just the counting starting from one to infinity in excluding the fractions and decimals so if you look here these are the general sets of natural number having one two three and so on the next category of the number is the whole number. Whole numbers are the numbers which includes the natural number as well as 0. Yes, so we can say that the numbers starting from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on are considered as the whole number. Likewise, natural numbers, they don't have any decimal or fractional part. If you look here in this diagram, all the natural numbers plus 0 are considered as a part of whole numbers. The next type of the number is integers. What are integers? All the natural numbers 0 and negative counting of that numbers forms the set of integers. For example, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. It means that if we talk about the integers who are number line, we can say that all the numbers that are positive beyond 0 and that are negative are the integers. So, we can categorize integers in two parts that is the positive integers and negative integers. So, what are positive integers? Number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 means that are positive are considered as the positive integers means all the natural numbers are positive integers if we talk about the negative integers so the opposite of natural numbers that is the opposite of positive integers that includes the minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on are the set of negative integers so if you look at the diagram here you can clearly say that natural numbers are the part of whole numbers whereas whole numbers are considered in the category of integers so all the natural numbers plus whole numbers and the negative numbers are the part of integers so this is i think clear to you now the next category of the type of number is the rational numbers so what are rational numbers any number which can be put in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is called as a rational number. It means which can be written in form of fractions are considered as rational numbers. For example, here 
माइनस फाइव माइनस फोर माइनस थर्टीन बाय फोर माइनस टू माइनस वन जीरो एंड सो ऑन आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ रैशनल नंबर्स इन दीज नंबर्स ऑल कैन बी रिटर्न इन फॉर्म ऑफ पी बाय क्यू लाइक इफ यू लुक हेयर इन द डायग्राम सो ऑल द नेचुरल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स एंड इंटीजर्स दैट ऑल आर कंसिडर्ड एज द रैशनल नंबर्स सो रैशनल नंबर्स कैन बी रिटर्न इन फॉर्म ऑफ पी बाय क्यू एंड इन फॉर्म ऑफ डेसीमल्स एज वेल so i think the concept of this is clear to you next category is the irrational number as the name indicates irrational number irrational number are the opposites of rational number so we can define it as any number which is not a rational number that is which cannot be put in the form of p by q is known as irrational number it means that we cannot write them in form of fractions for example root 2 root 3 root 5 these all are the irrational numbers we cannot write them in form of fractions more examples here are pi under root 2 under root 3 under root 5 and under root 7 so if we look into the diagram rational number and irrational numbers are opposite to each other rational numbers includes the integers whole numbers and natural numbers whereas irrational numbers form a separate category which doesn't include any natural number whole number or integer okay so this was about the rational numbers and irrational number the next category of numbers that comes is the real number now if you talk about the real number real numbers include all the rational and irrational numbers it means that the types of numbers that i am teaching you till now all the numbers are categorized and comes under the category of real numbers real numbers are denoted by the letter r real number consist of natural numbers whole numbers integers rational numbers and irrational numbers so if you look at the diagram here you can easily say that all the numbers that we are studying till now or that exist are considered in form of real numbers like natural numbers which is under the whole number which is under the integers which is under the rational number so if we combine the rational and irrational both we will get the real number so these are the main types of number that are known however there is a sub category also yes sub category of natural numbers natural numbers can be further sub divided into different types that is even numbers odd numbers prime numbers coprime numbers composite numbers perfect numbers and twin prime numbers so these all are the sub categories of natural numbers that we will look into one by one so let's move on to our first category the first category is the even number as you already know even numbers are the numbers that are divided by 2 or you can say that that comes into the table of 2 are considered as even number for example 12 can be divided by 2 so 12 is an even number we saw in the divisibility rule that a number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is 0 2 4 6 or 8 so therefore any number whose last digit is 0 2 4 6 or 8 is considered under the category of even numbers however if we talk about the odd numbers it is opposite to even numbers it means that the numbers that are not divided by 2 are considered as odd numbers for example 25 cannot be divided by 2 so 25 is an odd number so if we see according to the divisibility rule the numbers which ends with 0 2 4 6 or 8 are not considered as odd number so any number that ends with 1 3 5 7 and 9 is considered as the odd number you have studied about this earlier also now the next category of numbers is the prime numbers so if we talk about the prime numbers a prime number is a number 
which have only two factors that is one and itself it means that the prime number is a number which is divided by only one and itself so for example is two a prime number let's check how many factors does two have well the factor of two are one and two it means that two cannot be divided by any number except one and two so two is a prime number if you look at the table here here all the prime number less than 100 are given so all the yellow color numbers are considered as prime number that is 2 3 5 7 and so on the next topic is the composite number a composite number you can say it is basically the opposite of prime numbers it means that the numbers which are prime except dot number all the numbers are composite numbers so we can also define it as the numbers which has more than two factors are considered as composite number for example let's check whether 6 is a composite number or not well if we talk about the factors of 6 it has the factors as 1 2 3 and 6 so it has definitely more than two factors therefore it is considered as the composite number one thing you have to kept in mind about the special case of the number one the number one is neither a prime number nor a composite number because the number one has only one factor that is one that's why we cannot consider it as prime or composite moreover zero is also a special case it can also not be a prime number because every number is a factor of zero and 0 into 1 equals to 0 but 0 into anything at all is also equals to 0 so 0 is not a composite number either it means that 0 and 1 are neither considered as prime number nor composite number so all the other whole numbers are either prime number or composite number let us have a look at this table here if you see at the one one is considered as the gray color because it is neither prime nor composite however all the blue color numbers here are the prime numbers and all the yellow color number here are the composite numbers between 1 to 100 the next category of numbers is the co-prime number so what are co-prime numbers co-prime numbers are the set of numbers which do not have any other common factor other than one like if we talk about the numbers if we take the two numbers they are considered to be co-prime only if they have only one common factor that is one for example 8 and 9 have no other common factor other than one so they are co-prime number let's take more example to understand this for example 21 and 22 the factors of 21 are 1 3 7 and 21 whereas the factor of 22 are 1 2 11 and 22 so 21 and 22 have only one common factor that is ones hence 21 and 22 are considered as co-prime number similarly if we talk about the 21 and 27 the factors of 21 are 1 3 7 and 21 whereas the factors of 27 are 1 2 3 9 and 27 so if you look at the factors closely you will found that the only common factor here is 1 so 21 and 27 are considered as the co-prime number having the common factor only one so i think the concept of co-prime number is clear to you now let's talk about our next category our next category is the category of perfect number so what is a perfect number a perfect number is a whole number that is an integer greater than zero and when you add up all the factors less than that number you will get that number it means that what we have to do to find the perfect number we just have to add all the factors if the sum of the factors comes out to be the same as the number it is considered as the perfect number for example the factors of 6 are 1 2 3 and 6 so if we add 1 2 and 3 that is smaller than 6 we will get the sum as 6 so which is same as that of number it means 6 is a perfect number similarly if we take one more example of 28 the factors of 28 are 1 2 4 7 14 and 28 so if we add 1 2 4 7 and 14 we get the sum as 28 which is same as the number so 28 is also a perfect number 
so you can take more example to clarify this concept further so if uh, you will get to know that how many perfect numbers are known we just found that there are 37 known perfect numbers so this means that till now only we are know about the 37 perfect number and if you talk about whether there is any odd perfect number then we can say that nobody has found any odd perfect number yet but uh, we don't know whether if any odd number exists as in perfect number or not till now whatever the perfect numbers we have found they all are the even numbers okay so now let's move on to our next subcategory our next subcategory is twin prime numbers what is a twin prime number as the name indicate twin so two prime numbers with a composite number in between is known as twin prime it means that if you have two consecutive prime number and in between there comes a composite number that two prime number pair is considered as the twin prime for example look here in this chart if you look in the first row three and five in between three and five there is a composite number four so three and five are considered as twin prime number similarly if you look at five and seven in between there is a composite number six so five and seven are twin prime numbers similarly in the next row 11 and 13 they are the example of twin prime numbers because in between these two prime number there is a composite number 12 you can look for the more example in this table itself so this was about the twin prime number so these all are the categories of numbers that we have learned today so what we have learned today first of all we have learned about the different types of numbers which can be divided into different categories all numbers are considered as real numbers real numbers can be divided into two basic group that is irrational numbers and rational numbers rational numbers can be divided into three groups that is integers whole numbers natural numbers and natural numbers can be further subdivided into six different types that is even odd prime numbers co prime numbers composite numbers perfect numbers and twin prime numbers however all these numbers are considered to come under the category of real numbers so this was all for today now what you have to do you have to do the practice of identifying the different categories of numbers okay and if you have any query you are free to ask on our school email id our school email id is VBB Shakarpur online classes at the rate of gmail.com. What you have to do, you just have to write your name, your class, your subject, and your query, if any, and have to give us a mail. Okay, so this was all about the different types of number. I hope you have understood all the concept. Now it's the time for you to do practice till the next session of the next video okay so keep practicing for keep learning till then see you tomorrow with the new video and having something new in it okay bye